Hello mga kameranda! On this particular video, pag-uusapan natin ano ba yung mga top 7 biggest controversies na pumalibot sa cryptocurrency you know, for the past couple of years simula sa mga effect in terms of uh, billions of dollars, effects sa personalities, etc. Pag-uusapan natin, number 7, Tether Controversy, kameranda. So ito yung nagkaroon ng issue before about this stablecoin that claims to be backed by US dollars held in reserve. However, there were allegations that Tether now does not have sufficient efficient reserves to back up all of its tokens na pwede maging issue kunwari lahat ng mga traders nagsipag-withdraw ka ng USDT. This led into a potential stability issue and concerns raised by the regulatory government and even the public. Total potential exposure that time was $60 billion so ito ay nagkatotoo. According to the article of CNBC way back 2021, Tether and Bitfinex have reached an agreement with the New York Attorney General's office to settle a long-running legal dispute. Whereas the New York stock law enforcement official had been investigating, according to them, the firm's over-allegation that they tried to cover up $850 million in losses. No, ito yung overall top 7 natin, Cameranda. Number 6, ito naman yung ating DAO hack. The DAO or Decentralized Autonomous Organization was a blockchain-based investment fund raised over $150 million in Ethereum in 2016. However, the fund was hacked, resulting into the theft of around a third of its funds or almost $50 million worth of Ethereum during that time. Fast forward, kung ito ay ating ikukumpara sa current price ng Ethereum, the potential loss would have been almost an outstanding $1 billion. The hack led to the contentious hard fork of the Ethereum blockchain, which created eventually two separate blockchains, which are 1. The Ethereum Classic, those who did not agree to change the algorithm, and of course, the Ethereum 2.0, those that said we need to change the algorithm, and eventually they too have separated. Alright, ano naman ang number 5? Mount Gox hack. In 2014, the Japan-based Mount Gox exchange suffered a massive hack resulting to the loss of 850,000 bitcoins. The hack led to the bankruptcy of the exchange and a lengthy legal battle for its customers. Almost $21 billion in the price to date have been lost equivalent to 850,000 Bitcoins. Number 4. The BSC Token Hub Cross Bridge Exploitation The BSC Token Hub Cross Chain Bridge Exploitation on October 6, with hackers draining $570 million. Binance halted the Binance Smart Chain and managed to freeze $7 million in funds after pushing an update that froze the accounts. The price of BNB during that time took a hit and went down to almost 3.5% over the past 24 hours. According to the Binance BNB chain log, the hackers are drained on 2 million BNB tokens from the network on October 6, which is around $570 million at current price. Binance co-founder during that time, Shang Peng Zhao, said that the exploit was actually an on cross-chain bridge BSE token hub, which resulted in an extra BNB tokens being created out of thin air. Camerada, a cross-chain bridge lets users port their digital assets from one blockchain to another. Actually, dito ang simula yung karaniwang problema wherein most of the exploited uh, technology are actually those bridges in wormholes. Eventually, the BSC token hub is a bridge between the BNB beacon chain, BEP2, and the BNB chain, BEP20, or BSC. New exchange validators have asked to temporarily suspend the network and CZ in that time confirmed that users' funds were safe. Number 3. Ronin Bridge Hack Almost $624 million Cameranda ang naapektuhan nito. In March 2022, the Ronin network was actually a victim of the one of the latest DeFi hacks according to Sky Mavis, yung makers of the blockchain NFT game Axie Infinity. The attackers Cameranda stole approximately 173,600 Ethereum and 25.5 million USDC for a total of approximately $624 million na nahack. The Ronin network attack was extremely stealthy or halos hindi mo siya pwedeng mapansin dahil it was very 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 stealthy ika nga. In fact, the hack actually wasn't noticed until 6 days after it occurred when the project team was notified by a user that they could not withdraw about 5,000 Ethereum from a project bridge. Further investigation discovered that the largest hack in DeFi history has happened. Yung Ronin network hack nito was actually made possible by compromised private keys. Yung Ronin network uses a set of 9 validator nodes to approve transactions on the bridge. In a deposit Deposit withdrawal requires approval by a majority of the five of these nodes. The attacker was actually able to gain control of the four validators initially controlled by Sky Mavis and a third-party Axie DAO validator that signed their malicious.
malicious transactions. Number two, pinakamalaking issue and controversy so far, Luna Crash. Total of 40 billion market capitalization wiped out basically because this algorithmic stablecoin lost its value in an instant. Matter of fact, all this happened in a short notice or short duration of time wherein the algorithm which maintained the value of UST at $1 failed to maintain the stablecoin's price. Naalala ko, pinasok pa nila yung uh, Luna Foundation, almost $2 billion Bitcoin, pero wala rin ito nagawa to stabilize the price of Luna. Since the prices of both UST and Luna started crashing hard at the same time, investors sold off all of their holdings in the open market. The significantly increased supply of Luna on crypto markets along with the de-pegging of UST ultimately made the entire market capitalization go down to almost zero. Number one, pinakamalaking issue to the tune of almost $10 billion and even, even more than that is November 22 FTX hack. FTX actually is a collapse that have happened early November 2022 following a report from Coindesk highlighting that the potential leverage and solvency concerns involving FTX affiliated trading firm Alameda Research is actually in the hot seat. Ang ibig sabihin nito, according daw doon sa article na nilabas ng Coindesk, ang balance sheet daw ng FTX is punong-puno ng mga tokens na over-collateralized. Hindi naman daw ito fiat currency. FTX collapse shook the volatile crypto market which lost billions at a time, falling below 1 trillion valuation. FTX in 2022 of November, faced liquidity crisis in search for bailout funds, rivaled exchange Binance Network considered buying the portions of the company but quickly backed out. Sabi pa nga ni CZ before, ayokong bilhin ang mga over-collateralized company to that effect. By November 11, 2022, FTX CEO stepped down and the company filed for bankruptcy. FTX experienced a possible hack in which hundreds of millions worth of tokens were stolen. The FTX founder and ex-CEO Sam Bankman Freed is actually arrested in the Bahamas and extradited to the U.S. in late December. He pleaded innocent in all criminal charges on January 3, 2023. All right, that's it, Cameranda. I hope you've loved and appreciated our top issues and controversies and personalities in the cryptocurrency space, the top seven in history. If you would like to add anything or sa tingin mo meron tayong dapat i-add sa top seven natin, please don't forget to click on comment and click on also share and like to our video for today. Maraming salamat, Cameranda, and I love you 3,000. Subscribe, like, follow, and share. Sige na please, Kamiranda.